So Ipso announced on Friday the article was sexist. It did not uphold complaints of harassment, inaccuracy or racism. In the piece, Clarkson famously said he hated Meghan on a cellular level, compared that to his hatred for Nicola Sturgeon and the serial killer Rose West, and went on to say that he dreamt about Meghan being paraded through the streets naked with passers-by throwing excrement at her. Ipso ruled that only the remedy for this would be a publication of their findings. So that's all The Sun has to do, which is to publish the findings. They were included then on Saturday's edition of the paper. Clarkson supporters say the regulator overstepped the mark with opinion pieces in The Times and The Telegraph criticizing Ipso's decision. So Marvin, you, you say what you think. Honestly, there's 25,000 complaints uh, were registered for this particular instance. And, and the thing is that I don't understand what the passion for Jeremy Clarkson is. He has said quite a few absurd things over the last few years, probably the last 15 years. That might be the reason for the passion. Yes. And so, for, and I think this particular one was just the lowest and quite dark for me. And I was really challenged by it. And I feel that the lack, they didn't uphold all of the claims, which is also very worrying for me. And I think the threshold for trying to prove these things seems to get higher and higher and harder and harder each time. But the fact that they were found guilty of anything through this process is absolutely um, uh, shows just how bad it really was. I, I just want some sort of bigger justice at this time. I feel like it was such an act of bullying. It was such an act of just like aggression against a, a woman of color. It just felt for me quite vindictive and baseless. The fact that you can put her name next to Rose West is- Well, and Sturgeon, in fairness. But Tina, you, I saw you rolling <laughs> your, your eyes, uh, Tina. Oh, got to bring in a woman of color. That was, I think, wasn't racist in any way, shape or form. You, you, you're digging deep again. No. Um, I'm sorry, you know, you're getting upset. But it said it was a sexist remark because it was only women. Well, if you're comparing your dislike of a woman, you would normally compare it with other women in the same colour of dislike. So it's not sexist. They've just, it was comparing. Well, what was was um, there anything wrong with it at all in your view? No, because basically it's his opinion. Whether I agree with it, or not is another matter, but it's his opinion. And basically, well, he didn't say it in a bar. Stop, if we stop journalists <laughs> and presenters from stating an opinion, where are we? I mean, that's the whole point. Well, but if, if, if the opinion on on Meghan is such that it drives hatred towards her, and we know in in our crazy society that there's someone somewhere with a knife and a copy of The well, Sun. Well, there's always going to be right? someone somewhere well, it, with a knife and time immemorial. But basically, you cannot, it, it, you cannot incite a normal person to hatred. So the person that you're inciting is, is, not, is normally not quite mm. right anyway. So they're going to, if it's not that, it's going to be something else. The, the so you, you, would be, you wouldn't agree with it, but you're, you would defend his right to write it? I defend, right? I defend his right to have an opinion, some of his opinion I actually agree with. But the, when they go on about how awful it was, he was referring to an episode in Game of Thrones and he should have made that quite clear. Where somebody was pelted with excrement. Where, yeah, and yeah. He, he was describing, he wasn't actually saying we all go out, he was just using that thing. Um, uh, Meghan Markle is a very controversial person. She is disliked by an enormous number of people Why? whose views upon her are uh, uh, quite um, uh, worse Mar than Marvin, these. you think there's something to that? The, the, the base, if we go back to the basis of why people dislike Meghan Markle, I've never heard her say anything to me that has ever made me be like, how dare you say that? That is actually quite wrong. Maybe raise my eyebrows. So this collective idea that Meghan Markle was somehow a, a, a beacon of something to hate is wild in, its, in itself. Beyond that, then how you then choose to speak about not only a woman, but a woman of colour does actually matter. And in not having the understanding that that has meaning is a part of the blindness of why he shouldn't be having uh, such an amazing platform to write about anybody. Then the specific words that he then chose to use was also incredibly problematic. Saying that you want to throw excrement at a woman, it's just like, what, in what world is that normal and humane? And then if the people have spoken, 25,000 people, and this is Out not even the people that were actually million. upset, this is people that bothered to actually go and register their upset. So how upset were they to the point that they went to a website, filled in a form to say that this was absolutely out of line? Mm. I feel that this cannot be overlooked and we now need to start setting new new barometers, new lows for how people conduct so themselves you, but in journalism. It sounds like you you want something more than just this 
short apology. We have to, because I, I think the violence against women, and that's not even just physical violence, this is all the this emotional vices and abuses. I would love to continue my point. Women. Yes, it is actually, I because it creates agree. a culture about how you can conduct yourself in regards to referencing women. She has not done anything wrong to him or to anybody that I am aware of that requires She's this level of treatment. Wrong to our royal Name them. Family. Name them. Awful, awful, awful lot wrong to read Name the, one. Read the papers. No, I won't read, read the papers. papers. You well, name you one. You certainly You're in defence of it, so name one. I'm in defence of it because I personally think that the woman is manipulative. On what um, basis? Do you have an act that she has done that's been manipulative I, that you the, can recall? The very acts and the things that she said, she has been proven a, um, pathos, no, a pathological liar, and it's proven facts. And I don't. And so this is, is my concern. With, that there's what, nothing what is ever with specific. Me not liking somebody. No, it's fine to not I like somebody, but it's baseless. Ex, you can keep it's talking. Baseless. Baseless. No, hang, hang on, hang on. Let's just talk. I, I understand. I, I do want to say you're, not, you're going to right. get to a yeah. stalemate here. Exactly. You don't like her, no. and you can't see the reasons why she doesn't like her. I'd love but anyone to give me any reason why. Is there any? But you're well. You do in a sense because you've got to justify. But the but it's just that the papers have told you that she's a bad person. Is that it? No, it's. I know it was my own, my own personal so opinion of when I said, and you keep on about the woman of colour, woman of colour. I can tell you now, and look you straight in the eye. I didn't think she was a woman of colour. I just thought she was an extremely attractive woman. And um, basically, she got Mexican, Spanish, his, you know, Puerto Rican. I didn't think she was a woman of colour. I don't think anybody in this country actually even took that in. I thought she was so you beautiful. Didn't see her then. She seemed intelligent. I watched the wedding. I thought it was all wonderful. And as I've said before, when she came on with the Fab Four, and I said to my secretary, and I'm repeating this, I know, but I said, this is a break of breath. Do you fresh see air. me? Then she yeah. Do you, do you her see me as I'm a black sure. man? Sorry? Do you see me here as no, a black I man? I just think of you as an irritating man. Well, no, but do you black. see me though? <laughs> I don't think. Do you see me? Sir? Do you see me here? Do you yes, see me? I and you can observe that I have black skin, so you've observed that. Uh, what's the point? What's the point? It matters. This is the whole point. You can't say it doesn't matter. It ma because you've it kept matters. on. It matters to you because you've kept <laughs> on and on from the minute we started about bringing in colour, bringing in pride to okay. everything. It matters it's, it's, to the it, lived experience of it, real people. Right, right, and when they you. tell you it matters, I'm you have a choice to I'm respond ugly. or not. So that matters to I don't me. Think but you're I don't ugly, ask, do clear. you see me? Do you see me? Because I'm old. No, but you, how can you not see? I, I, I can't ignore the fact that you're of a different generation to me. I can't ignore that fact yeah, and I then speak to you as if it doesn't matter. I, I don't judge it people. Matters. I don't judge people mm. by their well, you just, colour. You I don't just miss me. But I think, but I think green. It's too, too I care what comes should. out of their mouth and you I don't should. like what comes out of your mouth. I asked mouth. you to quote a thing okay, that came okay, out of her mouth is it, is it not, we're, on, we're, we're ranging wide here, but is it not okay for Tina to say, look, the fact that you or somebody is black is a long way down her list of observations because she's seeing you as a human being, as a, a father, as a man, as a... But you must also contextualise in which the language that is being used against them, including there's a niggling feeling around Meghan Markle. There has been inferences to her race at all points throughout no, that only, she's a ghetto only, princess. They don't never said that about Understood. anybody else. Understood. So it doesn't matter. Only by her. Understood. She's no, the I, one that kept no. bringing well, it up. There were so many people... That's not all being pinned on you. That. Okay, let's take a call here. It's always, always interesting when we talk about Megan. Bill in Durham, do you think they've been fair on Clarkson or maybe not, not tough enough? Not tough enough, <laughs> absolutely. He was sexist. And would anyone think it's OK to say about the, someone's wife that they should be paraded naked through the streets and have excrement thrown on them? Somebody's wife. What, 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 what difference does it make if somebody's wife? Why does it make a difference if it's somebody's wife? What about somebody who's not married? So, exactly the same. What I would like to say about Clarkson is that him and his mate, Pierce Morgan, who were dining with Camilla the night before this happened, have always been trying to destroy Meghan and Harry, but they have both lost work because of their hate campaigns. They say she's irrelevant. Look on Google. She's the most Googled person on earth. She, Meghan. So whether they're relevant, I just don't understand. Yeah. Going on to the sexist and the... Uh, I, I, I think it was also... Uh, discriminatory about you, the black people. You think people. it was racist as well? Absolutely. As, as, as I mean, Marvin has argued. You know, when it, when, it, when, it was, when it was put in the newspapers, these newspapers are putting anything derogatory about Meghan. Danny Baker was shown in the newspaper Harry and Meghan holding hands with a chimpanzee when, yeah. when Archie was born. Mm. Does anybody think that's not 
discriminative. I can't believe what Tina's saying about, oh, this is okay. Jeremy well, I think, Cox, I, think I, I, were doing that. I don't know what Danny, I mean, I thought Danny Baker's defence was that, 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 like Tina said, that he hadn't really noticed um, the oh, ethnicity. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, that's, that, that's yeah. definitely right. <laughs> okay. That will definitely be right. Thank, it, thank you, Bill. Let me get another call, please. Karen in Aberdeenshire, hi. Hi, hi. What do you want to say about this? Is Clarkson being unfairly maligned or has he actually got away with it? No, I think it, it was unfair. I think he was, well, I don't think it was sexist. I don't think it was racist. And I think the, I, I just think he was joking. It was something off Game of Thrones, it, from what I can gather. Um, and if anyone's destroyed Megan, it, she's it destroyed herself. Mm. And Harry, of it does. But when you're talking about it's a man talking about a woman saying she needs to be paraded and have excrement thrown at her, th those are strong. No, it wasn't nice, but it's. I don't think it was sexist. I don't think it was really. Could, could it be written off as a joke, Marvin? Yeah. I, no, fundamentally it's not. To and his and, and the what thing is, if you're a comedian, Marvin, Marvin, I feel like if you're a comedian and you want to make jokes, you still have to have accountability. He's not a comedian. He wasn't funny. That wasn't a joke. That was how he truly feels. And for me, I think that, that that actually that view being platformed was very problematic. And the fact that more hasn't been done is more problematic. We've created a climate where you can say anything about women and someone's family member, someone's wife, who has done nothing actually wrong. You've just chosen to make her her life a misery. Mm. So for me, I just I, I dislike it to the core, my absolute core. Okay. Karen, thank you. Maria in London, hello. Morning. Do you think what, what do you think of what Tina was saying, Maria? No, nah, Tina is just talking nonsense. Tina will never understand it when it comes to Megan because she's not a person of colour, right? It goes back to, for instance, when we might say somebody's racist. Unless you're a person of colour, it's just how we feel. It's not what you think, Tina, right? As an English person, you can think that, and that's okay. What I'm saying, as a person of colour, if I think something you said is racist, it's not for you to say, I'm not racist. It's how I feel what you're saying. But Aunt Clarkson... This Game of Thrones thing is a nonsense because he didn't mention Game of Thrones. And would everybody be happy if Marvin had said that same statement about Kate Middleton? Mm. Let me well, tell you, you raise a good point. Yeah. I, I must let Tina come back on the, on the idea that the, the definition of racism, Tina, is in the mind of the person who feels insulted. Well, I'm sure because it, it, it's obviously that my fellow cohort here has um, got issues with that because he's very defensive of it. Um, I'm, I've travelled. My whole career has been travelling around the world um, through through all sorts of things. I actually run a charity for Nepalese. Um, there's, I, I have no problems with what race, colour, what anything. All I want somebody, if they come to this country, that they can learn to speak English, they take a job and they obey the laws of the country. That's my de definition. Don't, and I don't look at people, whether they're colour thing. They're nice people or they're not. I can walk into a room and not like people in an instant and know that I will avoid talking to them. And I haven't even met them. I, I just get a vibe. Right. There and are that's people, nothing to do with their ethnicity. That's got nothing ethnicity. to do with anything. Okay. And so there are people I don't like. If, unfortunately, they happen to be of colour, then that makes me racist. But it isn't. It's because I don't like them. All right. Okay.